Coaching, real simple. To me, we're here to talk about defense, but we're always trying to talk about also offense. You could have the best plays in the world offensively, but if you can't handle the ball versus pressure, can't get open against pressure, and can't pass being pressured, all your plays really don't matter when you play a quick, aggressive team. They're going to take you out of your offense if you can't handle versus pressure, get open, and pass versus pressure. So the first thing we try to start every day is just getting loose. You're going to walk your man in a little bit, pop out, hit him on the outside shoulder, good exchange on the inside, flash hard, catch it, walk in, pop out, not too far, good. Exchange, good, burst high, higher, higher, good, good. Catch it, walk in, pop out, outside hand, good. One more time, exchange, good. Catch it, turn, verse. Now, now we're gonna just pick it up a little bit and move it up a little higher for you guys and walk it in just a little bit less, okay, so we have a post player. Now you guys move it a little bit, ready? One more time, a little faster, walk it in, outside hand, burst, sprint hard, catch it hard, catch. Ball reversal, walk in, pop out, outside hand, exchange, all right, good. There's only one line in the corner. We're working on shot fakes, attacking the basket. So this guy's gonna have the ball first. We're gonna get a shot fake. We're gonna gap it. You're gonna slide two slides, white line to white line. You're gonna slide with him a little bit, I'm, just a little bit. I'm gonna hit you, shot fake slow, drive it, kick to you, shot fake slow. I want you to drive it, get around the big, baseline drive, baseline drift pass. The next guy, you start on the wing, but you catch it in the corner, okay? You start in the wing, so we're working on shot fakes, attacking the basket, baseline drive, baseline drift, one of the few times you throw a one-hand pass because the center is in your way. And what I want the guys to do here is when they drive this and a 6'10 comes over, if the, if the forward got in front of the center, the center came to help on me, I beat my man, his man got in front, I want to get around him and I'm making that pass. All right, and then you, you, you rotate, you go to that white line, white line, you start at that white line. All right, ready, shot fake slow, get in the gap, good, side, more shot fake slow, get in the gap, good, drive it, get around me, pass it, change lines, good. You're not like, oh, 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 oh. you gotta rotate, you gotta rotate. Rotate lines, that's your line, yeah. Now you should have been in the corner on the catch, you're out. You're out now. Shot fake slow, attack. Shot fake slow, get to the white line now. Drive it, get around me, get around the bit, get around, get around, good. Get around the attack. Don't slide too much yet. Good. Come, come, come get around me, get good. All right, hold on. First two steps now. First two steps, make sure we get out. Let's go. Where are you going, Alvin? Left, left. Yeah, she's going that way. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, out, nice. Let's go. Way to start us out, Sal. Way to work. Way to run, Alvin. Let's go. Come on, Cole. Good pass. Get move. Get that top. Which way you want to go? Come on, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. Go that way. Okay. Yeah, let's go, man. Nice pass. Nice pass. Come on, Didi, make a shot. Come on, man. Get that ball away from your body. Let's go now. Let's go. Over the top. First two steps. Better outlet, Bryn. That was like a wounded duck. Get, the outlet, the point guard cannot get it to the over the top. So hey. if you throw a soft outlet, we waiting all day. That thing got to be on a straight line. Be a man, friend. Be a man, friend. Let's oh, go. Me first, me first, me first, me first. Bring over here. There you go. There you go. Way to run, man. Excuse me. Way to shoot it, Sal. Way to get ready, Sal. Nice, Alvin. Nice. Good Elvis, pass, nice e. job. Let's go, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job.
Yo, you see how Gavin, he got to wait for the ball. He get down there so quick. Let's go. Get there. Nice, Kenny. See, you get down there that fast, man. You get down there that fast. Huh? You get down there that fast. Come on, D. Let's go, D. Let's see something. Let's go, Let's get out of there. Oh, that's slow. That's slow. All right, Didi. Three shots, three shots. <coughs> Come on, put him in, put him in. Knock it off. Nice pass. Nice pass. Way to go, Zell. Looking like the player you should be today. Let's go. This Adam, Let's go. Knock him Come down, on. guys. Knock him down. Let's go to work. Come on, Make three, y'all. Make three. Come on, Gav. Good pass. Hey, don't let that ball. Come on. Make three. Let's go. Make three. Nice. Get that ball lower. Get the ball out in front of you. Make sure we're accelerating. Make sure we're accelerating. Two up, two up, pull back, pull back. Get right here, get right here. Come on, pull up, pull back. Cross it over, cross it over. Pull back, pull back. Two up, two back, two back, cross over. Two up, two back, two back, cross over. Two back, Matt, two back. You gotta go somewhere. Cover ground, there you go. Cover ground, Al. Now go back two. Go back two, go back two, Aaron. Get away from him. Cover ground going backwards. Cover ground going that way. There you go, Matty. Up, up, back, go, go, go. Got to handle the ball, man. Two back, two back. Now go. Now go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, man. Go up two, back two. Come up two, go back two. Come up two, go back two. Come on, you got to handle it. Go up two, go back two. There you go. Left hand. Left hand. Let's go. Back up. You got to cover ground going backwards. Cover ground going backwards. That's it. That everybody. Five good days of practice. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Good to see you back in practice, pal. Push the pace, push the pace, push the pace, push the pace. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Come on, Monte, let's go, Monte, good pass, let's go. We need some in this line. Let's go, talk about it, let's go. Get wide, get wide, get wide. Get nine and one and one and another. Hey, get the line up. Here we go, Dust. Tyler. Let's get some conversation. We need some here. Some conversation. Push that pace. Go now. We need some of this line over here. <clears throat> here we go. Here we go. Touch and turn. Touch and turn. Push that pace. Push that pace. Here we go. Twice, Tyler. Let's go. Two times. Two times. Tighten it up. Quick outlet, quick outlet. Let's go, let's go, let's go, T.Y. There you go. I don't hear you, Jizzle. We're going we're gonna to push it to finish this, to start. No, we're going to push it. Okay, two, okay, two. Let's go, let's run. Yeah, one more, yeah, one more. I got you Okay, go, K2, go, K2, go. There you go, there you go, run that floor, run that floor. Easy finish, get out, talk about it, KJ. They always throw that pass out like it don't mean. Give him a good pass, Dust, give him a good pass. 
Toy to run, guys. Good, Abdul. Good, nice Abdul. Job. That's it. Good. Good job, Abdul. Good job, Danny. Let's go, Dooley. I don't hear you. That's it. That's, yeah, that's it, Danny. Way to run, Danny. Good. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See, even that's a decent pass. That flip is. Here we go, Ronnie. Here we go, Ronnie. You got him twice yet? Get out, get out, get out, get out. You got twice? Get out. You go twice? Let's go, yeah, push it, push it. I like that, I like that. Push it, push it, push it. Way to talk, yeah. Nancy, way to talk, Nancy. Good. good. That's the way to push it. Good, That's good, good. Push it. Gotta start somewhere. Good job, good job. I don't like the work, man. It's good, good. 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 Okay. Rebound at the height. Go get the ball. Good turn. Couple of defensive rebounds and outlet passes. Good outlet. Let's go. Zero turnovers on outlet passes. Rebounded at the height. Rebounded at the height. Now we're going to sit in. We're going to attack the pad as if we're in transition. We run to the head of the head of the rim and score the basketball. On the fifth one, we, we simulate transition where they've got to turn and look for the basketball. Rebounded at the height. Rebounded at the height. No turnovers. Good. No stress. Do not throw it until the guy's open and you, get, you know you can get it to him. Outlet pass. Now he's going to run in transition. Right to the head of the rim. That was a good, that was a great good. physical go. sit in. Way to attack the pad. Good. Don't get that. That thing deflected. Don't get that thing deflected. Make sure it's 100%. You don't need to dribble it. Rebound, rebound higher, rebound higher. Attack that pad with your with your hips and your ass. Here we go. Good. Let, uh, yeah, you gotta catch, you get, he's gotta be more fluid. It's, it's always a, a hesitation. It's not fluid, you gotta catch it. Let the Jameson, he, the, the pass should propel him into the shot. Okay, don't let it come to you. Try to rebound at the highest point, all right? Make sure we're throwing that ball hard. All right, so we can get our break going. Okay, hold up. hold up. One of the things that we've been talking about at Nahime is you had some turnovers last year on simple outlet passes, okay? That's called a live ball turnover. I would rather you charge or travel than throw it to the other team, okay? So now, because we're pretty good in a set defense, I don't want any turnovers on outlet passes. I would rather walk the ball up then turn it over back here. This is critical. You guys have checked out, you've retrieved the ball, we have possession. They don't take the basketball from us, okay? We don't throw it to them. We don't throw it out of bounds. So this is critical that we take our time with this part. You're not gonna get in trouble for not outletting the ball. The, the problem is gonna arise when we turn it over in the backcourt. Here we go. Good, excellent, excellent rebound, son, good. Way to go get it. Way to go get it. Good. Good. Here we go. Way to go, Ahime. Go get it. That's big. That's a big. No. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. One in five is too many, bud. Attack the pad. Attack the pad. He may. What happened on that one where you threw out of bounds? What happened on that one where you threw out of bounds? Excuse me? You gotta be strong enough, okay? First of all, that doesn't affect you. Secondly, just make it a better decision and don't throw it like that, you know? I, maybe he fouled you, maybe he didn't. I don't think that's a foul in our league. Do you? 
Okay, so the onus is on the passer. All right, I'm gonna get those point guards up here as high as we can, and you're gonna get a lot of defensive rebounds, but you cannot throw that basketball away, okay? You gotta make, get that in your head. Yes. If he's on this side, I'm not trying to outlet it. He's okay if I. Uh, what do you mean, the defense, the, 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 the guy that, the offensive player who's now on defense? Yeah. Well, first of all, I don't think they're going to smother you that much, okay? I try to pass this. Yeah, you, yeah well, you know, exactly. The thing that we just worked on with the, um, the one-hand pass, but keep two hands on it as much as you can, okay? Come on, CJ. Nice sit-in. Blow them up. Good. The first thing we want to do is we got two groups over there. I need, uh, I need an extra player to stay at this basket for me. There's, f there's five out there, so give me, we need, give me the extra guy. Let me pr pr have you come on down with me, okay? And I need, you, I need you to stay right here, and I need one more guy to stay at that box area right there, okay? And I'll just use you two guys first. Now, we're going to start, and give me the ball. We're going to throw it off the backboard. You're going to rebound it, and you're going to outlet the ball. So you're going you're to grab the rebound. You're going to go out to the outlet we're going to give it to you okay you're going to dribble it to the free throw line you're getting your outlet on the right side you're advancing it to the foul line lefty we're going to use the tape separates the two groups now so you guys are using that side of the backboard down there okay we're using this side of the backboard and we're going to rebound outlet you're going to take it inside the top of the circle jump stop you're going to kind of eye the basket you're going to rebound get out fill the lanes now we would put cones on the court so we got a cone out here. You'd have to run outside the cone. You'd get to the cone, foul line extended, plant your outside foot, run in, give it to him, and just lay the ball in, all right? Then you two guys go to the end, and we're going counterclockwise now. So we're starting. You'll go, it's the foul line. You'll give him the ball. He'll lay it in. Then you'll throw it off the backboard, outlet it to him. He'll bring it down. You'll shoot the layup. So we start. It's a six-minute drill, first thing we do after stretching. Okay, so now we'll start. You guys are doing the same thing there. Let's get you guys off the court waiting to go. You got your basketball? You got a ball? Throw, somebody throw a ball down for them, guys. Throw a ball down for them. Each pair has their own basketball now. Okay, so we're starting. Ball, starting, you can start in here. Throw it up, you're gonna slide out to the outlet. All right, so throw it off the backboard. Get out to the outlet. Ball, outlet, lefty dribble to the foul line. Same two going the other way. Jump stop, bounce pass. Now we wanna work. On a couple of things, we didn't jump stop then. I could have drawn a charge on you. Because in your desire to get here, you ran right through your pass. So you got to stop inside the circle, knees bent, eye the basket. Now take a step with your right foot around me, throw the bounce pass, lay it in. And now we're going to switch. Now the next two guys are going, and we have the whole team, like maybe six groups are going. So now, uh, uh, rebound, outlet, go. Rebound, outlet, go. Next two guys, everybody's rotating now. Rebound, outlet, go. Jump stop, lefty dribble. We dribble left-handed first. Lefty, jump stop. Eye it, bounce pass. Jump stop. I right, hold up, hold up. So that's gonna be the first. Hold up, guys. Hold up, guys. Good energy. Man, we just gotta listen. All right, let's get back over here. Come on. <laughs> All right, now we our first drill. And you can see the one thing I have, this is terrific because I'm trying to control their energy right now. I've gone to clinics where you're trying to get the guys to like uh, wake up on, sa on Saturday. Very good. Now the second one we work on now is the first drill was catch the ball, lay it in. Now on Monday, it's six minutes working on this side of the court. On Tuesday, we go to the other side and we work to the opposite side. So our first drill is just rebound, outlet, layup. The second one now is going to be give it to them a little bit earlier now. Stop a little earlier, see the basket. Give him a chest pass quickly, he'll be out above the three-point line, hopefully, okay? When you get it now, come to the jump stop on your catch, shot fake, okay? Pause, the guy stands up, go buy him one dribble and get yourself a pull-up jump shot. We like to bank the shot now on that dribble. So now we're going, everybody's going now, I'm catching it, okay? I'm catching it now. The only thing I forgot though, the only thing I forgot on the first drill is how about this? You're also going to work on rebounding. So now, when I come down on the break and I throw the pass, when I throw the pass, as he's catching the pass, go to the basket, I have to run under the basket. And you are my extra guy? Yeah, you're right here. 
I have to get inside of you. Now you're facing somewhere. I got to get inside of you and block you out. I got to get the rebound and then give it to them. Okay, and I, I, we step off the court. So now when the middle player comes down on the break, they make the pass. They got to sprint inside on the block out and they got to get the ball before it hits the ground. And we're going to do this on each of our drills now. So now we get the pass, we sprint into the play, we block out, we get the basketball, all right? So now you're coming to the foul line, you're giving it to him, you're gonna catch it, shot fake, pull up. After you pass it, you're gonna get inside of him. On the way back down now, you're gonna get inside. Who's my extra guy down here? Okay, you're gonna get inside of him to rebound. Ready, go. Get inside of him. Good, get the ball. Good job, good job. Shot fake, pull up. Block him out, big guy, big guy. Oh! Get inside. Now let's get you a little bit to the weak side. Let's get you right there, good. You're gonna block out, who's the block out guy? Lefty dribble, jump stop, shot fake. Now we gotta give it, hold up. Now the coaches can see, hold up guys. We gotta give the ball to the players earlier. We don't want to be working on shot fake and then shooting a two-foot jump shot. So first one was fast break layup. Now, what you want to do with the kids is mix up even the layups that they're working on. It might be speed. It could be the power shot off two legs. And then they got to be able to reverse. So when a kid out on the break, he's got to reverse. He's got to jump off two legs. And he's got to have the, he's got to have the, the quick to the rim off the, or high off the backboard. That red line, one here. One here and one on the red line, the three-point line, okay? All right, we got one basketball and we got four people. Well. We got one basketball and four people. We're probably going to have to split up you guys so we don't have all the right, dodos all going to together, see. okay? Okay. Well, that's so, okay. This is good. No, no, you're good. Just, just stay like that for now. No, this is okay. Okay. So when we did three-man weave, right, you pass and you go behind the guy. So now you're going to do the same thing, except you're going to pass to this guy. Pass. Pass. Move towards the ball. Always be moving towards the ball. Towards the ball. Okay. Boom. Pass. Pass. Get to the outside. Okay. Let's go. Let's go again, right here. <clears throat> Call the names, passing and catching. Okay. Actually, we're going to try to stay as wide as we can. We're going to try to stay as wide as we can. Okay. And we want to see how quickly we can get a layup. But all four guys have to touch the ball. So it starts here. Boom, 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 boom. Layup, outlet, and then we come back down the other end, and we get a layup as quickly as possible. Do not ever throw the ball behind you. Under any circumstances, throw the ball behind you. So you better get ahead of the ball. Let's see what this looks like. Come on. Ready? Go! I'm going to just put 10 seconds up like we used to, remember? Yeah. Let him go through it once and then put it up. Do you think? Because we have these other guys. Run! Did you call the Hold name? Up. Put uh, 10 seconds up on the shot clock. Let's see if you guys can get down and back in 10 seconds. Go! Run! That's it, that's it. Call the name. Good, Bree. Good, Bree. Good, Bree. Right there. Good. That's it. Run behind him. Good. That's it. Oh, I don't know if they made 10, though. You guys are going to have to get wider. We're too bunched up. I don't, think, I don't know they can do it in 10. You think they can? Mm, I don't know. Maybe if they know what they're Down doing. Down and back in 10. Ready? Go! Run! Run! Yeah. Let's see, it's too slow. Yeah. Go, 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 go! Quick, quick, quick! Run, Seth! Say 12. Let's go again. Good. We had some bobbles. You can't have a bobble. No bobble. Huh? We gotta get it out. Hold it. Everybody's got to <laughs> no sprint. Bobble. We got to grab the ball out of the net. We got to get an outlet. And we got to get to the outside. I don't want any dribbles. I don't want you dribbling for a lap. I want guys to get out in front of the ball. And do not throw the ball behind you. Go! Run! 
in. Come on, Michaela. Good. Yes, yes, yes. You're going to get it. Good catch. Good catch. Go, 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 go. Go, oh, you've got time. Get it, Michaela. Oh. Is that not enough time? 10 seconds, huh? Not enough time? So give him 11. Want me to give you 12? Well, we bobbled it, and oh. we didn't know where we were going. Oh, we bobbled it? We had a bobble down yeah, here. Yeah, we had a bobble. Huh? You got to do perfect to get Go. it. Run! Run, Bree! That's a job! You got to run! 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 Oh, my gosh, and the travel. And you don't cheat on the clock now. Did you start on time? Because all of a sudden they bobbled it and they still had time. See? You know when you go catch, uh, uh, you just wasted a second and a half. It's the difference between making it and not making it. What do we do at the beginning of practice? Boom, boom. Touch pass. Boom, boom. And sprint and get ahead of the ball. We don't want dribbles for a layup. That wasn't any good. You dribble for a layup. Somebody's got to be in front of the ball all the time. Hey, trust your Go! One, Run. two, three. Good! Good, 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 good. Go, Buck. It's got to be a good pass. Run, 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 run. Ah. Got to be a good pass. All right. Well, maybe not 10. Ready? Come on. Go! You just got to go hard. Run, 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 Bria. Good. You got five. She, she Grab have it. To make go, go. Pass. Long. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. Good run. Yes. Come on, Kia. Oh. Kia, you got to run. If you would sprint, we'd have a chance. It's not helping you to take off earlier. Kia, sprint. Ready? We had a chance. You can go. do it. You're the one that can do it. Run. Uh. Where are you going? Buck, shoot the ball. Run. Once we get below the foul line, you don't make another pass. Come on now, come on now. Right here, this is three. Go! Come on, guys, push yourself. Don't you want to compete? This is a challenge. We're trying to get it. You guys got it. It's a challenge. Can't just give in and say we can't do it in 10. If you're competitive, you're going to want to get it in 10. Go! Run! We got guys that say we can get it in 10. Go! We got it! We got it! Run! Oh my god, you had it! You see? We can do it! Come on, stay with it! Go! You can do it! We could have made that one. Bad passes, bad. Stand up! Free, uh, don't grab your shorts. Yeah, and you start to realize when you get too far away from each other, it doesn't work. Who do you think? Stay connected. Go! Go! Well, now you're at foul line, so we probably can get it. Run! Run! Okay. Hey, don't go it now. Now you guys are cheating. Go! Don't just say it's too hard. There you go. There you go. Kia, that's the best I've seen you run. That was much better. Go. Go, go, go. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, took too long. Run. Yes. 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 Oh. Ah. Let's go again. Let's go again. See how hard you got to go? Kia, do you First see how all, hard you have to go? I'm going I'm to I'm ask yeah, you guys oh, something. Sorry, listen. Three seconds. Why does a layup have to hit three parts of the rim right. instead of just that? Down there. See? That ball sat on the rim, went one, two, three. And by the time it came out, you lost a second. That's a layup right there. Hits the backboard, hits the net, boom, we're gone. Oh. If a layup has to hit three parts of the rim, well, that's. 
Because it's pathetic. Time. It's pathetic. Go! You can get it! Run! Come toward her. Oh, see, she doesn't, she's got to come toward. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! You got it! Come on! Yes, Tiffany! Yes! Hey, here's the key. When you start to run, you've got to move in a little bit more. Okay. Okay? Right now, go, 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 go. Guys, grab the ball. Stop. Demarcus, let him go down. Stop. Stay right there. Stop the clock. You're yelling, ball. He's yelling, outlet. When we get to half court, we're yelling box to box, okay? You grab that ball with one hand. Move up, move up. All right? Sprint, go. Sprint. Sprint. Good. Shoot it. Now. If you want him, hold on, you want him to shoot it, what do you say? Shoot, so he knows. You're coming down and you know he's in a position. Shoot it, shoot it! Then he knows he's shooting it. We have to talk to each other as much on offense with this offense as you talk on defense. You must talk. The guys that don't talk screw us up. If you're screwing us up, what? I can really play. You're screwing us up. I know you can play. You're screwing us up. So you got to talk. Okay, if you get the ball, just yell ball. Ball! The other guy says outlet. Throw it to him. We get to half court. Box to box. Back and forth. I want him to shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay? Next two are ready to go. As soon as these guys break the free throw line, I'm sorry. As soon as they break the free throw line, the next two go. Go. Got to talk more. Well, listen. Everybody listen to their teammates. What do you say? Go again. Turn and run. You missed. Go. Turn and go. Go. Run, John. Good. Now, I've had to say this, I'll say it again. When I talk loud, it doesn't mean I'm mad. I just talk loud, okay? Go hard, go, go, go! I'm not mad. I shouldn't have guys looking at me like they're scared to death. I talk loud, so you gotta get used to it. I'd hold it. Throw a good pass. Ramon, the first pass you threw, ready, was up like that. Well, why do that to the kid? That makes it harder. He's got to use more muscles. We're trying to help each other. Throw it in front of him. Run. Throw it in front of him where he can handle it. If you can touch pass on this, it's even better. Now, you may not touch pass right away, but when you get to half court, you start touch passing. Here we go. Fly. Fly. If he shoots it, the other guy rebounds it. Rebound it! If he shoots it, the other guy rebounds it. Coming back, you're good. Coming back, go. Throw good passes. Hold it, hold it. Darnell, what did you say? What did you say coming back? You didn't say anything. Listen, you must talk. If he's not talking, be your brother's keeper. Darnell, talk, man. Come on, talk. I got you. I, got, I shouldn't have to say it. I'm telling you all, we don't talk enough. Talk. Here we go. Hey, 
All right, now. Hold on. Let's get a semicircle around them, peripheral passing. So we've done about 10 minutes of ball handling. We're going to get this is a drill. This is a really good passing drill we use, okay, to incorporate getting, getting passing, seeing, dip, being able to see. Let's move these sem the semicircle. Marty, let's move it down. We want the last guy to be in this range right now. We have two balls going. This is a passing drill, but it's also a drill to communicate. So right now, Sean's in the middle, and what you see is we're going to get rapid fire continued passing. But a lot of times, and a lot of you have seen this drill, don't allow your players to hop around like this. You know, you see this a lot. You see this a lot. You guys are doing this drill. It's traveling. It's traveling. Pay attention to detail. You got to be able to stay in the space. Joe, Marcus, Lee, Joe, JJ. You know, where you, you get in the habit of your footwork with every drill we do, you have to pay attention to detail. Don't allow guys to create habits where they're traveling or being loose with the ball. So we're going to go, and when I call rotate, Sean's going to fill this spot. Marty comes to the middle. We want these guys calling out each other's names. And they pass. Good. Keep your pivot foot. Good. Rotate. Good. Don't travel. Don't travel. Good. Good, Marty. Good. Let's work on one four high, making the back door layup off the bounce pass. All right, let's go. One four high. Here we go. Get above the level of ball. All right. One side at a time. One side at a time. Get back up quick. Good. Here we go. Left side. Lead him. Good. Lead him. Left side. Come on, Get above the level of ball. Everybody get above the level of ball. Nico, let's go. Gotta run, Nico. Gotta run. Gotta run. Wayne. Too low, Wayne. Get above the level of ball. Get higher. Higher. Good pass. Sorry. Good. Lead him. Good, Brandon. Too high. Too high. Too high, Hunter. Bounce pass is below the knee. Good pass. Pass. Good pass. Get that ball, Tyler. There you go. Right, here we go. Two man passing. And he may and Kadeem get across from each other. CJ, go with Daniel. All right, listen, we're going to use the heavy balls. We're going to use the heavy balls. All right, just chest passes to start. Make sure receivers are down on a stance, stay in a stance, step into it, one, two, shot fake. Step at your partner, throw it hard, and then go back where you started from every time. All right, you have no time to relax on this. Then we'll move back a step. Hold up. When you, fin when you, when you finish passing the ball, there should be a little snap of your wrist, and your thumb should end up just like this. The, the, you're stepping into it with a little snap, okay? Snap your wrist, thumbs down. Here we go. These guys, for whatever reason, they're not the greatest passers in the world. Maybe it's because they've always played right around the basket, but they're going to have to throw outlet passes. They're going to have to just become better passers. So it's something that we thought we needed to do with this group. Just a little fun. Step into it as the ball's coming, Kadeem. Meet your pass. Meet your pass. 
Slow down. Slow down. I take a step back. Take a step back. Now this heavy ball is a little harder to snap than a regular ball. I don't know how much it weighs, but it it's pretty heavy. Daniel, our manager, is doing a great job. Good job. Hold, hold your follow through, on, just like on a shot. There you go. All right, hold up. Outside the three. Outside the three. Outside the three. All right, now all overhead. All right, throw long outlet passes. Throw them on a rope. All right, receivers still meet them, but make sure you go back to where you started from so we're throwing it all the way across the court. All right, here we go. Ready? Step, step, big step. Good. As big and strong as you are, it should not be a problem getting it there. You got to have a bigger step. Throw it as you're stepping. Cannot have turnovers on outlet passes. These guys should be able to get it, you know, at least to on a free throw line or top of the key extended. We ask our guards to get butt to the sideline and we want to advance the ball on the pass as much as we can, depending on where the defense is. One step outside the lane line, Kadeem, back up a little bit, back up a little bit. Uh, all right hand now. All right, you guys got to work with one another. All right hand, push passes, ready? Go! Step, step, CJ, step. Step. If you're passing with your right hand, your right foot should step towards your receiver. Working on a one hand pass. Ball. Actually, the ball's in your hands for quite a long time, but at the end, you're pushing it with the one hand or the other. Now we're going to push with the left. Anything we can do to make our post players better basketball players. These guys, uh, I've always believed that if you can make them better basketball players, ultimately it's gonna help them, but it's also gonna help your team. We're not just trying to give them things that five men do. We're trying to, we're, we have a lot of drills when we start team practice where our five men dribble the ball all over the court. And we have a, a series to get warm where they're literally dribbling, dribbling the ball from three-quarter court for a layup and a pull-up. They make a move, attack the elbow, and then they make two moves where they attack the elbow and then get a little pull-up shot. So they're dribbling the ball. They dribble and pass it in that drill. They're continually working on becoming better basketball players, not just centers. Now, passing is a skill that, trust me, Here's a drill right here, and I want you guys to try this out. Let me get those four players. You guys are all going to stand right here. You're going to get one dribble to the baseline, try to get below the block, and then you're going to throw a good drift pass to me in the corner, acting like I'm going from the wing, drifting down the corner. We ready? Hold up. Let me get spotted up. All right. We ready? Go. Left hand. Good. Left hand. Oh, try it again. That's getting taken. You're okay. Outside hand always, and what I want you to work on it's just one hand. We don't even need that other hand. That takes too much time. Go. Good. Here we go. Good. Here we go. Good. That was a good one. Here we go. That was two dribbles. Now, if you think about it, and trust me, I do this all over the country. I do this demonstration, and we never get over two out of five that do exactly what I said, which was one dribble, don't put our second hand on the ball, and just deliver a good snap pass right there, extend your elbow, Flicking your wrist right on the shooting pocket. Let's try it again. You guys should be able to get four out of four right here. We ready? Go. Good. Come on. Come on. That's okay. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. All right. And stop. Now, I didn't mean to kill the coaches behind me, but you guys can see I love doing this demonstration because they see if we started doing practice drills, passing drills, they would all be like, what the hell is this? And that's their immediate reaction is, I can, I, can, I can do that in the game. That's easy. And then we brought them out here, and those coaches over there were in danger. They were over there like this, and they knew it was coming. And I was right there, we can't pass this. So if you do this demonstration before you do the drills, now they'll actually practice the drills like you want them. So now what we got is we got one guy right here, and his partner's right across from him. And then we got one guy right here. 
You can use that rock. And then his guy right across. Now, obviously, if they just do one pound passes right here, it gets boring. And they're not thinking because they just start doing basically the drill instead of the skill. So what we're going to do is they're going to, is everyone here right-handed? All right. We're going to all use our left hands. And what we'll do is we'll make one pound, one pound with our left. You got that rock too. One pound with our left. And then what's going to happen is you guys are going to throw a chest pass. And then we're going to throw bounce passes, okay, to the left hand. So it'll be one pound. I got bounce. You got chest. I'm catching it. You can catch it two hands or one hand. Now when I pound, we alternate. So now this time, I'm going to throw a chest. He's going to throw a bounce pass. And what happens is they have to start thinking. And that, they don't like thinking, okay? And so with other, the other thing they're going to have to do is they're going to have to communicate. Because if they don't, they're both going to do the same thing and the balls are going to go flying, okay? And I want this at a game speed. I don't want it like this. We ready? Me and you are going to do this. I'm throwing bounce. You're throwing chest first. Go. I got bounce. Boom. I got chest. Boom. I got bounce. I got bounce. Come on. I got chest. I got chest. I got bounce. I got bounce. I got chest. Here we go. Here we go. I got bounce. Come on. I got chest. I got chest. Good. And that's what we're trying to do, okay? And he did a great job. You guys ready? I want you guys to do it. Speed it up. We ready? Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, stop, stop. Stop. Now, that's all right. We had a couple double dribbles, two-hand pounds, and then snaps. We had bounce pass, bounce pass. And so that's a drill right there. You think about a simple drill that you can do with sixth graders, and it's hard, isn't it? Because you have to think about it. You're going at a new speed and everything like that. Another drill, passing drill. Now we put those into game play. And you can also add a move to that. You can do one pound between the legs, one pound behind the back, same pass. You guys are right here, okay? You two are right here. And I talked to them earlier about it. We'll see how good they remember. He's going to be the first guy responsible for throwing a drift pass. So what, what's going to happen is since he's going first, this player is going to hit me with the ball, coach up top, and now he's basically spotted up on the weak side. He's going to take a hard dribble, and he's going to sprint down, drift to the corner. Now, one thing, some coaches, and, and this could be right, could be wrong, but through my study of the film, coaches that teach sliding, they don't get there quick enough. We want them to get to the spot and prepare for the shot. So we want them sprinting as fast as they possibly can, getting down there in shot-ready position, position right here where they're ready to shoot, okay? Then what's going to happen? So he's going to go, he's going to dribble, he's going to catch and shoot. Now, hold up. What's going to happen is the player that throws a drift pass, we want to get up reps. So now he's going to come off a tight pin down, curl around here, and then catch and shoot from right here. So the coach will deliver that pass. Then what's going to happen is the opposite line will hit coach, boom, right here, and then we'll go the other way, the exact same thing. He'll throw the drift pass, and then he'll get a curl. We straight on that? Here we go. Let's try it out. So you're hitting me first. We ready? We're going to go fast. Go. Go. Get down there. Here we go. Shot. Go. Here we go. Go. Good. You guys better be ready. You guys better be ready. Hold up. Hold up. You're passing. You're over here. You're over here. And again, I don't want to bring out too many people. This is exactly what we do. You're hitting me. Go. Left hand. Go. Good. Get out. Here we go. Get around. Get around this way. This way. Opposite side. Curling. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Get down there. You're okay. Curl opposite side. And stop. Okay. Now that's a drill. Obviously, I didn't want to grab a bunch of players just to pull them out. But you can see when you're going full speed, you have multiple coaches out here. You can start going and put a time on it. Okay. A lot of times when we're doing this drill, and I've done this with Webster Groves High School, and we'll have guys, you know, six guys deep here, six guys deep there, and you have one coach, that way it's, you know, good proper timing and stuff. You're trying to make, trying to make 12 shots per minute at least. And that's with the freshman team JV. If you're going the varsity team, you're trying to make 18 per minute. And you can put any type of, any time that you want on there. A lot of times I won't spend too much time on it. We're just working on something to get them going, works on dribbling, breaking them down, passing, also the curl. What we're going to emphasize is having two hands on the ball, okay, and not throwing the ball with just one hand, okay? A lot of guys, even when they get here, they throw one-handed passes everywhere. Okay, right, we want to throw two-handed passes, good, and snap the chest pass, snap the chest pass, okay? Then you're going to run. Obviously, everything is conditioning. We want our guys to cut or sprint through there, okay? And on the catch, all right, when you throw me the ball here, hold on one second. I want to step, I want to, step to the ball, okay, and then pivot and snap it. So we're not going to overemphasize this and make our guys go slow, okay? But I want to step to the ball, pivot, snap it, and cut.
Okay, so he, let's start the ball here. Okay, don't be in a rush, fellas. Don't run down the ball. Okay, here we go. Good, good. Step to the ball and then cut. Good. And then cut when you, there you go. Good. Not bad. Not bad. Good. You want to be as accurate as possible. Be as accurate as possible. That's pretty good, fellas. That's pretty good. Good. Now hold on one second. Fellas, when, when you catch, when you go to catch the ball here, I want you to be in, mo in motion just like you were in a game. And what we talk to our guys about is when you throw it, okay, make that a cut. Okay, so every single thing that you're doing is cutting. So instead of passing it and then running, I want you to catch this ball, boom, snap it, and then cut right over there. Okay, so everything you do is a cut. Everything you do is a cut. All right, here we go. Good, good. Not bad, not bad. Step to the ball. Good. Be accurate, be accurate. Not bad, not bad. Good, good. There you go, kid. Good, there it is. Pretty good. Not bad. Make it a little bit more smooth than that. Make it a little bit more smooth. Good. Good. Be accurate. Be accurate. That's it, fellas. Not bad. Good. 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 That's pretty good, fellas. That's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. About 15 more seconds, coach, and then we'll go to layups down there. So this is how we start with dribbling. Everybody dribbling up and down the court. So everybody's going to go four or five times then right to a star passing drill, and then next thing we're gonna go into is layups. The last one we do is something that we call N2s, and it's a five man, it's, it's my favorite and probably all of our favorite drill. It's a five man full court layup drill, okay? That we usually start off in sets of four, okay? So four laps total, up, back, up, back. The reason that it's called N2s is if there's a missed layup, or a drop ball, we won't have these guys do it, but if there's a mislap or a drop ball or any kind of confusion, or as we call it, fake confusion, about who's supposed to get the rebound and who's supposed to get the outlet, we add two more layups to it, okay? So we've gotten up to, you know, guys going 12 or 14 layups, okay, which is difficult. The only thing that the, you guys really need to worry about, okay, is who's getting the rebound and who's gonna be the outlet, okay? So when you're running down the court, we're encouraging our guys to talk to each other. It's not scripted, okay? Especially not the third, you know, second, third, fourth, fifth layup. But who's getting the rebound? Who's getting the outlet? If you're the outlet, stand right about the, you know, inside the key, okay, right up at the foul line. If you're the rebounder, you just want to get it, throw it to him, and we're flying down the court, okay? A lot of what we do, uh, and, and Coach Schaefer, the women's coach, has, has said this. A lot of what we do is we kind of teach uh, five-man basketball. Okay, and that's the way I learned from Coach Carrill. We, we don't do as many breakdown drills, so a lot of the things we're trying to get our guys to pick up on the fly and not take too much time, you know, diagramming it or correcting it individually, but trying to get them to understand how, how it works with one another, how it works when there are four other guys on the floor. And that goes from our drills, okay, uh, into our offense. We're always trying to get our guys to figure out how to, how to score baskets with somebody, with, with four other guys on your team. Okay, so in this drill, we're going to have these guys figure it out a little bit. But remember, you're worried about who's rebounding and who's getting the outlet. All right, here we go. Good. No dribbling, no dribbling. There you go. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Not bad. Okay, good. Stay, good. Not bad. Got to run, got to run, got to run. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Not bad, fellas. That's not bad. Good, let's get a next group ready. Let's get a next group ready to go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, you guys are done. You guys are done. Now, fellas, you don't have to step out of bounds. Okay, you don't have to re-inbound the ball. And now listen, <clears throat> fellas, the guy who shoots it, the guy who shoots the layup, he can't get the rebound. Okay, so somebody else has to get the rebound. All right, here we go. Here we go. Good, not bad. Get out there wide, big man, get out there wide. There you go, nice play. Good. Not bad. Good. Pretty good, fellas. Put it in, put it in, put it in. Get out here wide, get out here wide, get out here wide. Not bad. Pretty good. Who's next? Who's next, fellas? Here we go, White. Good. Get out, get out, get out. There you go. Good. Good. 
Good, good. That's pretty good. Pretty good, fellas. Good, you got a sprint. Nice play. Good, good, good. Yo, that's nice. Let's go, Blue. Beautiful, fellas. Beautiful. Here you go, good. Who's open? Good. Not bad. Talk before you get there. Talk before you get there. There you go, good. Good. Go. Good job, fellas. Who's next? Here we go, Black. Good. Don't be in a rush. It's okay. That's okay. Just talk, fellas. Who's got the rebound? Who's got the rebound? Not bad. Not bad, fellas. There you go. Good layup. Call the rebound out early, fellas. Call the rebound out early. There you go. Good. There you go. Beautiful. Good job, big fella. Good. There you go. There you go. Not bad. Here we go. Who's next? Way to run, fellas. Good, good, good. Call it out early. Call it out early. Good, good, good. That would be fake confusion. Here we go. Who's next? Good. Last group right here, fellas. Last. Last group right here. Good, good, good. Who's got the rebound? There you go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Good. What we're gonna do to start with is, let's start on this block. We're gonna run what we call a turnout cut from the rim out. And again, everybody's the same, dominant pivot foot. I'm gonna inside pivot or outside pivot, front pivot, doesn't matter. And then I jab, I got my left foot in cement and I'm strong. Coach Richardson's coming and set the ball screen. And then the first thing he loves to do is seven cut or slip. So we want to teach our players with the ball, I keep in triple threat so the man guarding me's hands are down. We need a man guarding coach as well just so that we can show Coach Danny Peters. Here we go. And again, what I'm doing is I'm looking, I'm going to throw the ball right over his shoulder and deliver the pass. The slip sounds good, but if the guard doesn't know what to do or how to deliver the pass, doesn't have a method to delivering it, it's not going to work, okay? So everything we do, Gabe's in twos. First, <laughs> Danny, he's going to hard hedge. We're going to take advantage of the hard hedge by calling a slip. The screener slips. Go! Good. We don't want that basketball to come below, above Danny's hips, TJ's hips. Triple threat. Stay in triple threat, Gabe. Slip, great. Fake low, throw high, or stay low, throw high. Here we go, second one. Pivot. Great, great. Here we go. Good. So we think in those terms. The second one is an action we call a strong action. Coach Pasternak subbed in from the bench. He's in the corner. I catch, I pivot, and strong action means that a teammate's in our corner. So Coach Richardson, the ball screener, has to run to the rim. And what we're trying to do is take advantage of Coach Luster either running all the way in or staying all the way out. And this is big for TJ and Gabe. If 
JD, the guy guarding the man in the corner, stays more on the shooter. His coach comes up. What I'm going to do is I come off the ball screen. I take on coach right here. I keep him to where he is. So if JD is out, I'm talking about this guy right here. My eyes stay locked on the shooter. I want to keep him there. I want to keep him on Coach Pasternak, and then I'm going to throw the pass late to Coach Richardson in, in the, on the rim, on the rim run. If JD worries more about the roll, which a lot of teams do, they protect the basket. Coach Pasternak is an excellent shooter. Come off this ball screen, more than two dribbles. If I see him in, I keep him there. How do I keep him there? I keep my eyes on the roll man. Wherever this defender is from the corner, I want to keep him where he's at now. I keep him in, I look in, and I throw out. Manu Ginobili is the best in the world at looking one way, keeping the defender there, freezing him and throwing it opposite. So JD, give him one of each, okay? Strong action for our players means a teammate is in the corner. Ready? Go, pivot, pivot, hard defense, Trevor. Good. Here's your first thing to do on your early morning practice. After they stretch and you're trying to get them going, it's either the February blahs or they're, it's just early in the morning, everybody's not ready to go. You start now and the blue is going to be on offense. Okay, so you guys can kind of spread out. And the white now is going to avoid the blue tagging them. All right, so the white now has to stay on the half court, can't go outside any of the lines. The blue is going to pass the ball to each other, okay? We're going to pass it to each other until we can tag somebody from the white team. So like where he is now, I might give you the ball and move towards him. Fake at him with a pivot foot, give it back to me. I'll see if I can tag him, okay? You're avoiding being tagged. Now, I have to tag him and not lose the ball. If I tag and my hands, and I extend the ball like that, knock it out of my hands, okay? Doesn't count. If I tag you, you're out. We go until we've tagged all five. Now, the offensive players want to get the white shirts in traps. They want to get them in the corners. They want to get them two players together. We want to use our peripheral vision, okay? And get somebody, try to get somebody in a trap and everybody's moving. And when the ball hits my hands, like it hits my hands, and we're moving. So like everybody without looking at people now, we want the basketball moving and we want to go until we've gotten all five guys. Once we've gotten all five, we switch. I guarantee you, everybody's moving in this because everybody wants to avoid being tagged. It's the game you grow up with, okay? So here we go now. We're gonna try to get guys. No, white, no, white. You're gonna avoid, you're running. You were putting yourself in a tag. Be ready to move, avoid the tag. Ready, blue is passing it to each other. Ready, go. Move it, where are they? Pivot foot, try to get somebody in a trap. <laughs> Closer, where's the teammate? Dropped it, keep going, keep going. This is not dodgeball. Get him? Did he get you? You're out, you're out. Move it, move the ball, move the ball. Where are teammates? Teammates, teammates, teammates. Quick reverse, quick reverse, quick reverse. Pin him. Step up here. Get him in the corner. Get him in the corner. Yeah. Yes. Keep it going. We're down to three. Where are they? Hit him. Corner. Got him. Down to two. Pin him. Guys. Purpose, oh my goodness. 
Everybody's got to be involved in the chase. Focus on one guy. We're all over the map right now. We're down to one? No? Dropped it. Got it. Down to one. Right here. Okay, quick. Let's hit the other group until we get two guys. Ready? Now, look at how hard they just ran. They love doing this. Now, it starts... How bad were we just then? Really bad? Every day they do it, they start to see... You know, you know when, it's amazing. Like, somebody will run by a passer, and instead of throwing it to where the guy's going, we just throw it to Johnny over there, who's not even involved in the play. So as they, as they do it more, their peripheral vision picks up, and they start to see. And the one thing nobody really does well yet is they don't pass fake to make the guy start running and stop. Like you can pass fake, freeze him, throw it, and then run towards him and get him in a trap. So it gets better now. Usually the second group is a little better because they, they watch the first group, but that isn't necessarily true. We're just hoping it is true right now. Are right, you ready? Ready, go. Move towards guys, move towards guys. Ball fake. We're not sure why we're doing what we're doing right now. <laughs> Got one. one. Move it, move it, move it. Ball fake, ball fake. Ball fake, good, good, ball fake. Good, good job. Ball fake, ball fake, pivot, close it, close it. Out of bounds, down to one. Okay, now. That's absolutely, now what does that have to do with basketball? You could see like peripheral, some natural fakes that you start to use and your ability to like move and that's fun, right? Like we do it at practice and what we do at practice, it's two minutes we put on the clock and the one group has to get the whole group in two minutes and then the other group does it. Whichever group gets done first, one kid goes to the foul line, shoots a foul shot to win the drill. If he makes it, then the other group runs, runs one eight second sprint or they do 10 push-ups, or they do 10 crunches. And that's kind of the way we end every drill during the day, where we have a drill where technique, game speed, and then a validation where you shoot a free throw. What we do is we call this the Nash drill, and we'll start with the ball, and it's, it's, it's a good, the only thing I don't like about it, and it, it took me a while to adjust, uh, was it, it's, it's one hand catches. Usually I, I emphasize two hand catches, but for the purpose of the drill, we're going to catch the ball one hand. We're going to face each other. And what we'll do is we'll go, we'll start, we'll call it right to right. So what we'll do is we'll go crossover, crossover, then we're going to throw the ball to your right hand. And you're going to have your hand out there. Boom. Now you're going to just catch it with one hand. Now you're going to go crossover, crossover, and throw it back to my right hand. I'll do the same thing. So we're facing each other. So it's Nash drill. So you get, and now the same thing has happened here. This is just a little warm up drill. So go ahead and same thing. Go ahead, but now you're facing each other. Boom. Catch it with one hand. Set it outside hand. Get that hand out wide as a big target. Quick, quick, quicker to hand. Now quicker, quicker. Hand the ball. Now we don't turn it over. Quicker. Now do the same thing left to left. So start with the ball in your left hand. Start with the ball in your left hand. Now left to left. Good. Now as you can see, how many missed? It? Quick with the ball. Now quick with the ball. Now let's go right to right. Now here's what we're going to do is we're going to go through the legs, through the legs, right to right. And now when you catch it, you're going to throw a bounce pass. So it's through the legs, through the legs, bounce pass. Step and pass. Now everybody step and pass. Quicker with the ball. Quick with the ball. Quick with the ball. So this is the drill that we warm up with our guys, not every day, but every couple of days just to work on our handle and also pocket pass. Now let's go left to left now through the legs. Let's go left to left. So start with the ball in your left hand. There you go. Quick pass. Mate. Long step now. Step, step on your pass. Step and pass. One hand passes. Now one hand passes so you can work on your pocket passes. 
Good. Now go, let's go right hand, around the back, around the back, bounce pass. Let's make sure you step in pocket pass. One hand pass, one hand pass. Yeah. So you're working, so that way when you work on your pocket passes. Lower with the ball now, one, lower with the ball, good. Catch the ball with one hand. Now let's go left, let's go left, around the back, around the back. Start with the ball on your left hand, around the back, around the back, left hand. Throw an air pass this time, throw an air pass. Now let's throw, step and throw an air pass now, air pass, don't bounce it, don't bounce it now. Let's go, hand the ball, it's all right. Left to left, throw left to that left hand, there you go. Right hand flick. I got out of something. All right, hold up. How do we catch the ball? Come on, guys. Come on. Three guys down here standing flat footed on every catch. Let's go. Let's go, fish. Good job. Left hand flicks. Left hand flicks. Echo. Hand target. Snap it. So every time he's throwing me the ball, I'm throwing, throw it. I'm stepping to it. I'm getting it right here. Now I'm moving it. I'm past James. Every time I'm hitting the target. Every I time I'm close, working ear to ear, so ear to off. ear. Let's go. Let's snap it at the end. There you go. Extend your arm. There you go. And then throw it in the same right hand time. bounce pass. I'm gonna throw it to his right shoulder, right? So he can shoot. Good. Left hand bounce. Better pass. Focus. Catch it and put it on your shoulder instead of your hip. Hold up. Right there. There Hold up. Go. So the bounce pass should be coming to his waist. You want to bounce where it comes to his waist. He can't get it on the ankles. We don't need any ankle biters or knee biters or whatever you're going to throw it. We got to get it to his stomach. Get it to his belly button on the bounce. Belly button on Let's the go. Pass. Right hand flick. On his chest. Find the happy medium. And flicks. Nice. There you go. Good fish. Left hand flick. Left hand, left hand flick. Left hand flick. Right hand bounce. Right hand bounce. Go. Right hand bounce. Right hand bounce. Step to it. Step into it. Stay low. Get low. Be low. Good, good. Left hand bounce. Hey, don't come underneath. Good, Stay good, step. Good, good. good. All right, hold up. All right, we haven't done this yet. Back up a little bit. All right, we're going to go two hand overhead. Overhead. Really focus on your thumbs, snapping the ball, and your hands should almost come together. And you're trying to hit them in the head. You're trying to hit the guy in the head over there. All right? Some of you guys throw with wild spin. These are things you need to work on, especially guards. Bigs on outlets. Trying to get backspin. Backspin on the pass. Go. Get it there. Step to the target. See, that's right hand spin. Right hand spin. There's a chance, yeah. There's that's top chance. spin, Tyree. You're throwing with top spin. That's top spin. Come on, fish. All right, hold up. We need great right, passes so out of you. I'm trying to get both hands behind the ball, just like this, and I'm stepping, and I'm falling through, and my hands come together. I'm not throwing it over the top. I'm snapping and putting the ball together. My hands come down. My thumbs are down. My hands are behind the ball, and I'm snapping it. You're getting backspin with both hands. No. You're trying to put the same amount of pressure on both no. and snap it and hit them on their head. Let's go. Good, Matt. If you're throwing to his head, make it hit his head. There you go. 
Put a little juice on it now. We're still calling names. You're catching triple threat. Good, Dimitri. Good job, Better, Matt. Des. Put more on it, Dimitri. Put it Snap it. Money, Nick. There you go. Snap it. Make it hit his face. Hit Good. His face. Good, Ike. There you go. Hey, high knee, high knee, let's go, get him up, let's go, go. So now we're going to start here. You're going to pass it. All right? He's going to pass it over here. Why don't you come up one more step here? Good. Good. You're going to hit him in the corner. All right? And then we're going to shoot. If you're a three point shooter, shoot a three. I imagine you guys probably should shoot twos. So, bigger guys, who's ever a two, whoever coach lets shoot threes, shoot threes. If he doesn't, we'll step into 17 feet. All right? Now, shooter over here, you got to be ready to shoot. So, make sure your knees are bent, make sure you have a quick release. All right, we don't want to wait on you over here. All right, I'll help you at the beginning to get a rhythm to pass, but behind the three-point line, all right, behind, no, you'll pass behind the three-point line, and then you'll go. So it'll pass to here. As soon as you pass it, you'll go to that line. As soon as you pass it, you'll go to that line. So the second guy in line, back up, please. Back up, back up. Second guy in line, back up. Thank you. Now, same mechanics that we talked about. So now when we're reversing the ball here, we're going to use our chest pass. So again, I need to be ready to pass before I catch it. If I'm standing straight up and I catch it, now I got to do my wind up and all this, there's no way they're getting shots over there. So I need to be bent, I need to be ready. So once I get it, no wind up, I'm reversing that thing. Again, the ball should stay above your waist, above your waist, all passers above our waist, and then make sure we give the seams and make sure you're ready to shoot. Again, against zone, against man, we want ball movement, we want player movement, so we gotta be able to move the ball. All right, so here we go, let's pass. Next guy, make sure your knees are bent, knees are bent. Quick, quick, ah, don't wind up. Ball here, go, 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 throw, 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 good, go. Go ahead, go ahead, go, throw, throw, throw. Don't wind up, go ahead and go, don't wind up. Ah, too, too slow, too slow, gotta move it quick. Ball above the waist. Ball above the waist. Good, make sure you're ready to shoot. Be ready to shoot. Ball above the waist. Good, we'll go one more time. Good, reverse it, reverse it. One more. Good, stop, stop, stop. Good, good, let's bring the balls back here. All right, couple things. Not bad, shooters, we gotta be ready to shoot quicker. All right, I know we're doing a passing drill, but shooters, we gotta be knees bent. Now you're gonna shoot over here. Make sure your knees are bent. So as that last pass is coming, make sure your knees are bent. All right? Make sure your knees are bent just as quick as they're passing it. We want to be able to shoot it. All right? So again, ball comes here. No waste. All right? Know where you're going with it before you catch it. So once you get that ball, don't bring it down the waist. You should be able to catch, snap. Don't bring it down the waist. Let's really whip that thing around to the last guy. All right? Here we go. Let's get that ball. Fly it around. God, don't bring it down. Get it going fast. Come on. Be ready to pass before you catch it. Good, good. Be ready to pass. Ah, don't wind up. Snap, snap your pass. Good, good. Ah, next one, next one, next one. It's all right. It was good speed. Just hit him in the right target. Good, good. A little quicker shot. Get a little quicker shot. Ball here. Good, we'll go one more. Good, good. Good group, good group. Keep going, keep going. 
Above the waist, above the waist, above the waist. Ah, we go again, we gotta get a good group. Come on, above the waist, snap. Good, 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 excellent. Good, way to move it. Ah, that's right, the passing was good. It wasn't a shooting drill, so good job. Passing was good. What we'll do is, uh, what we were doing in practice, we put up like 35 seconds, and we're gonna count passes. We're gonna count how many passes this team has, all right, and we'll let them do it. And white group, I want you to watch, okay? You guys are gonna hurry up and do it right after them, okay? And we would do a competitive on two ends to have them work on our zone offense, work on passing, but then make it competitive, and we can get in and out of the drill real quick. So let's go to the top on this. All right, so again, I like game type things. All right, now this isn't obviously a, a game type, but I want them to always play like there's somebody guarding them or that there's a defense out there. So if he's in the high post and the ball comes here, I never want to see you know, a chest pass to the high post from the wing because it's never going to happen in the game. All right, it's going to have to be something where I catch it and I look and it's a quick bounce pass or it's a quick overhead pass to him. All right, now on the perimeter, again, a lot of these are going to be chest passes. But again, I don't want it on the three-point line because obviously the defense is there. So a lot of this just comes repetitively that I want our guys to envision it's a game and there's defense out there and make sure your passes are game-like and game speed. So you're going to go, to, for now, you're just going to go um, elbow to elbow, basically in the high post area, you're going to go soft spots. If it ever hits you in the soft spot for this one, all right, if it ever hits you in the soft spot, I tell you what, for the drill, we're going to hold you right here for this first time, okay? So if it ever hits you here, you're always going to skip, okay? You're going to skip. So you're going to skip all your passes. And technically, you would dive, but we're not going to hit you diving for this passing drill, okay? All right, so here, um, pardon me. Uh, I tell you, want you to stay high for now, and we'll dive you eventually. All right, so, so here we go. Again, this would be a basic zone offense against a 2-3, and I want you guys to get the ball moving. Make sure we get the high post involved. Make sure we get the soft spot involved. All right, here we go. As fast as we can go. No wind-ups. No wind-ups. Good. Look opposite. Reverse. Pass, pass. Ah, give him good passes. Good passes. Good. Get it in. All right. Good, 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 excellent way to move opposite. Good, bring the ball back to the top. All right, I love what you guys are doing. You guys are looking to pass fake, looking to do different things right now. Tell you what, for right now, let's try to impress these coaches. All right, let's get as many passes as we can. All right, as many passes in as we can in, uh, I'll give you about 20 seconds. I'll count it myself. All right, so let's do no fake passes. All right, let's just get that ball going. So once you get it, know where you're going before. All right, know where you're going before you get it. All right. Can you guys count while you do this too? All right, let's count. Then White, you're going to come out and do the same thing. You're just going to stay for right now. We'll let you hold. All right, ready? Here we go. One. Quicker, quicker. Let's go, quick. Good. Time, time, time. Good. White team, hustle out. Get a spot. Now we'll do 35 seconds of passing stuff and usually our guys are always at least over, um, over a pass a second. So it's usually over a pass a second. So if you're doing your drills 35 seconds, they should be up in the 40s, mid 40s, different things like that if they're really moving, moving the ball. And again, we want to go as fast as we can on things. All right, so again, let's go right now as fast as you can. Remember, you're going to move high post to high post, okay? Here we go, about 20 seconds, get it going. Good. Ah, stop, 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 good. If we ever go high post to low post, what kind of a pass? Okay, and what kind of pass do we work on there? Is it a halfway or a three-fourths way? Three-fourths way, good. And it goes three-fourths, uh, okay, good. We want to hit them, we're, I'm sorry, where do you want to throw it at? From how high? Good, you want to bend down to throw it to them, all right? So make sure we bend down. All right, here we go, let's continue on. Good, throwing, good, skip, good, good, in, good, there you go. Good, skip, keep it going. Okay, good, good, good. Now you guys got it, we're gonna count 20 seconds. Here we go. You get, white team, you gotta count louder, it's not gonna count, all right? All right, here we go, ready, go. Two, three, three. Quick, 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 skip, quicker. Quick, quick. Couple more, quick. Good, stop, good, good, good. Not bad, blue, hop back out. Good, hop back out, Blue. And again, you saw they got better the second time. Again, I'm a big believer we have to be able to pass the ball. 
So every coach, you have different philosophies. I want all our guys to have basically equal opportunity a lot in our zone offense, and I want the ball to be able to move, 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 and get the team defense uh, rotating. Footwork, I'm gonna give you a passing drill. Come on, guys. We call this V-cut drill. You two are gonna be right here. We'll get this moving a little bit. I don't even know if we have enough guys. You're gonna be right here. You're gonna be at that hash mark down there. Hash right there. You're gonna be uh, right in front of that table. You're gonna be right down here on this wing. Uh, you, you just, I tell you, get line right there. Oof, we might not have a, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna try this. Now, footwork, we got another guy? Yeah, you're in, man. Hector, right down there. All right, here's what we're gonna do. All footwork, pivoting, jump stops, all boring stuff, but we gotta do it. Get a rebound, chin the ball, pivot. You're gonna V-cut. Yeah, man, well coached, V-cut. Come back, to hard V-cut, come back to the, come meet, meet the ball, jump stop. Pivot on your inside foot, right foot. Right here, because you, I'm sorry, you're going to throw it over here. Oh, yeah. Yep, when he catches the ball, you're going to V-cut away, come back to the ball, give it to him. Jump stop. You're going to V-cut away, and then you're going to, stop. F go to the line you pass to. Go to the line you pass to. V-cut away, now, now stop. Make your guys understand, right here, this might be a pa cross-court pass in the offense. Right here, this is we're getting pressed. We're getting pressed. We're trying to kick the ball up the floor. They're denying you. You got to come to that ball hard, right? You're coming here. Hit. Stop. V cut. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna go. The, you're gonna go in for a layup. That's my, my. I didn't explain that. He's got the ball. You're gonna V cut and you make a backdoor cut and you're gonna throw him a bounce pass for a layup. We always started on this side, so he's got to shoot a left hand layup. Then he's got to take the ball. Everything matters. Everything matters. Take the ball with your left hand, dribble all the way down the floor with your left hand, and then you're going to fill that spot. Do you think we can do that? All right, let's go back to our original spots. Let's go back to our original spots. Guys, V cuts, come back and meet the ball, jump stops, catch the ball, chin it, pivot, make your pass, follow your pass to the next line. All right, one last thing we always do. Call the guy's name that we're passing to. So, guys, another little teaching point. We talk to our guys about, about talk. You know, come on, we got to talk on defense. We gotta, it's got to be a habit. They got to talk in everything they do on the floor. Every time we make a pass and practice to anybody, we call their name. And it's just got to be a habit. You know, we'll have, we'll have guys in practice. You know, I'll be explaining something to the team. And we'll have a senior right here, Manuel, and I'll tell them like this. And I'll say, Manuel, give me that. Manuel. Manuel. <laughs> All right, so we'll have our guy just, he'll just go, coach. You know, it's just a habit. You just, you, but to get talking in the game, everything we do, every drill, like when we do that Olympic shooting drill, every time you make a pass, you're calling the guy's name. Everybody's talking. So it's just got to be your habit, all right? So call the guy's name. I'm going to go over here so I get away from the uh, speakers. All right, here we go. V cuts, chest passes. Good. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Good job. Good talk. Let him throw it off the board first. Here we go. Chin it, chin it. V cut, jump stop. Good. V cut. Good. V cut. Good. Good. V cut. Good. Bounce pass. Left hand left. Dribble it out. Go, 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 go. Spin it. As soon as you get down there, go. All right, all right, keep it there. All right, you V cut. Go ahead, go ahead. V cut. Good. Follow your pass. V cut. Good. Bounce pass. Go, go, go. All right, go ahead, go ahead. You're throwing it off the backboard there. Good. But I like that. I might add that to the drill. Throwing it from out of bounds. Off the backboard. Go, go, go. V cut. Good. V cut. Good. V cut. V cut. Call his name when you pass it. Call his name. Good. I right, hold it. Everybody, finish that off, big man. Now, bounce pass. Now everybody throws a bounce pass to everybody. Here we go. Call their name. 
Call his name. Bounce pass. That's all right. That's all right. Bounce pass. Everybody throw a bounce pass. Good. Bounce pass. Good, good, good. Go, go, go. Bounce pass. Bounce pass. Bounce passes. Everybody throw a bounce pass. Go ahead. V cut. Bounce pass. Good. Bounce pass. Good job, Miguel. Good V cut. Bounce pass. Good. Good job. All right, hold up. You guys get the point. Great job, guys. Great job. Good job. Guys, you could see in that drill right there, you could see where spacing, you would stop them and teach them spacing. Timing. The guy that was V-cutting here, as that guy's catching the ball, he's setting his man up before he catches the ball because he knows, he knows when he catches it, he's got to come busting back to the ball in the V-cut. So, I mean, those guys just saw that for the first time. You guys are doing a great job just picking up everything first time. But... But what would be important that drill is all the little things. Give me two guys in a post right here. Let's put Miguel on the post. Good. Two big guys. Give me two guards in the slots, two guards on the wing right here. Okay? All right. Now, we call this is our feed the post drill. So everybody. We talk to our guys about this in life. Everything you do speaks. Everything matters. You walk in with tattoos, whether you think it's good or not, it speaks. You work at, you're not, you know, you're not clean shaven, it speaks. Whatever you, it doesn't matter what it says, but it speaks. Everything you say speaks. Same thing on the basketball court. Everything you do matters. Everything. How you throw the pass, whether you talk, how you guys, when I just said get to those spots, how you get to those spots tells me something about you. If you run to that spot, it tells me a little something. If you walk, it tells me about it. If somebody picks up something real quick, it tells me something about you. It doesn't always have to be bad, but everything speaks. So here's what we're going to do now. You're feeding him in the post. You're feed you are feeding him in the post, okay? Everything we do matters. So you're passing to him, you're passing to him, okay, hold on. And then after you get the ball, you're passing to him. You are passing to him. So what, every post guy receives the ball, chins it, pivots on his top foot. Pivot on your top foot, I didn't get your name. Fred, Fred. Fred. But I also got to watch, this ball's coming right here. Miguel, you're pivoting. You're pivoting on your top foot, your right foot. Pivot, Charles. So we got to watch the balls. This guy, four ways to feed the post. So we try to make every pass. Give that to him. First, catch and feed. We're, we're going to do this. I'll give it to these guys. Just catch and pass. Quick pass. That's one. Two, fake a pass to make a pass. So we're going to fake high, throw low, fake low, throw high. That's number two. Okay. Number three, baseline bounce pass. Number four, second look. Second look. You go to the baseline, defense takes baseline away, you bring the ball back out above the 45, and you come back and give them a second look. Okay, so we try to do each one. So watch. Each guy is pivoting off a different foot. He's going to pivot off his left foot every time in the post. He's going to pivot off his right foot every time. So you rotate it so these guys fill both spots if they're post players. He's catching the ball. He's V-cutting off a different foot. He's V-cutting. So you switch sides. You, you do it so all three of these guys fill all three spots. All three of these guys fill all three spots. And then the, the three guys switch sides. We're not going to do all that. You guys look at me like, are you kidding me? Okay. So you two are going to V-cut. You're going to pass to them. We're going to do quick feed. So you're just going to catch it. How, quickest way you can just catch it, put it in the post. When you catch the ball in the post, chin it. Pivot on your top foot. Call his name. Don't hit each other with the pass. Okay? When he catches the ball, you're going to V-cut again. You got it? All right, let me see it. Go ahead. Good. Call his name. All right, all right. Now, timing. Let him V-cut. So he V-cuts. After he V-cuts, when he's coming to the ball, you make your pass. Timing, okay? You're throwing him the ball, call his name. 
You're throwing him the ball? Call. Everybody should be talking. Here we go. Good. Good. Good job, guys. Way to chin the ball. Good job. Nice job. All right, hold it. Now, now we're going to baseline bounce pass. Baseline bounce pass. Same thing. Baseline bounce pass. Here we go. Good. Good. Take, all right. On baseline bounce pass, guys, we're going to take one hard dribble to the baseline, feed it with one hand. So he's got to do it with his left hand. He's got to do it with his right hand. But then when we switched it, if we were in practice, we would do both. Now, go ahead. Baseline bounce pass. Good. 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 All right. All right. Now, what you did right there, we would call second look. So, wait a minute, that thing's going to go off. Come here. That would be, this would be second look. So I V-cut, V-cut, come back to the ball, catch. Now I'm looking for, I'm looking for a baseline bounce. I'm taking here, the defense takes away baseline. I turn to come back. I come back in the second look. All right, that's second look. Let me, let me see that. Let me see second look. Good. Call the names. Call the names. All right. Good job, guys. All right, hold up. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Now, let's get Hayes is going to guard Izzy. Same thing. Griffin is playing behind. And now we're in a position where she's trying to deep double Barry, okay? And now, let's say we're playing, so they're, they're, the opponent's scouting report says, this person making the pass is not a three-point shooting threat. So that when the ball goes in, they're going to double off the passer. We play inside out. It's almost like we're playing catch with our perimeter teammate. We're going to kick it right back out. So that's inside outside. A lot of times that's great for a shot or a drive right off the bat. But the minute B kicks the ball out, she will reseal. She takes more. So often you see post players, they will relax once that ball is kicked out. So once B kicks out, she takes another big step back, tries to get deeper position. Izzy will throw her the ball, and we're going to turn and score a power move. We call that in out in okay here we go b let's go live with it hayes is guarding good we turn and double good kick take more space turn and score very nice in out in off the double up from the passer last drill that we're going to do is a passing series um, that works on ball handling too works on hand eye coordination um, and, is, and is very good for this offense because there is a lot of pass and cuts and you have to be able to be a good passer. So it's two ball passing. What we're, the way we're going to start is you're going to pass. You're going to put that ball over on your right side. You're going to put that ball on your right side. You're going to pass to his left shoulder. And he's going to pass to your left shoulder and we're just going to get it going as fast as we can. Back and forth. All right, here we go. And it should be two hands. Two hands on everything. Two hands on everything. Okay, get it going faster. Get it going faster. Get it going faster. All right, switch directions. Go to the other shoulders. Okay, here we go. As fast as we can. Okay, good, good. Knees should be bent just a little bit. Down in a stance, athletic stance. Get it going faster, 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 faster. Good hard passes. Okay, now let's go bounce passes. Bounce passes. Quicker, quicker. Should be really low on bounce passes. Should be really low. All right, so we get it going this way now. Change directions. And this is the next series that we'll do. This is the next series that we'll do. Okay, good, good. All right, stop. Okay, so we'll go chest pass, bounce pass, and the next thing we'll do is we'll stay right there. Now we're going to go chest pass, but you're going to catch it, go behind your back, grab it with two hands, and then throw it to his shoulder. Got it? Okay, here we go. Get it going fast. Working on ball handling here. Working on passing, but we're working on ball handling at the same time. Good. Change directions. Good. We've two hands on it every single time, too. These guys are doing a really good job. 
We always want two. If you put one hand on it, you're never going to get that pass back if you put it out there. Keep two because if, so, if something happens, defense jumps in front or you don't like the pass, you can always pull it back. All right, relax. All right, and then the last thing, the way we'll, we'll finish it is you're going to get down in a stance. You're going to go between your legs, two hands on it, bounce pass, between your legs, bounce pass. All right, yep, good. And when, don't throw it straight down into the ground. Throw it out to the, out to the offensive player. Two hands, two hands, two hands. Good. Good. Switch directions. Get it going quicker. Get it going quicker. That's fine. That's fine. If you get going quick and you mess up, that's all right. That means you're getting out of your comfort zone. Keep it going. One more time. One more time. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so that right there is the seven drills of highly effective attackers. If you do those drills, I'd say twice a week with your, with your guards, maybe even have your bigs come in once a week uh, and do it with them. If you do those drills, you're going to have very highly effective attackers. They're gonna be very good with ball handling, very good with passing, uh, have a good touch for the ball, um, get a lot of shots up. They're gonna make at least 40 shots in that workout. Um, that's not including the Olympic shooting and not including the ball handling where we're working on pull-ups. So you're getting tons of shots, you're getting tons of ball handling, uh, getting tons of footwork type stuff, and, and you can really do it in just a matter of an hour workout and do those seven drills, and uh, you're going to have some very, very effective uh, attackers. They stay wide, that's why I put the cones up. Don't dribble. There's no shots. We're just passing. Good. Next guy goes. You can't do enough, in my opinion, of sh passing the ball. Handling the ball, passing the ball. Good. And kind of simulate it game-like. They're dribbling on the outside, so they're not traveling. Catching and dribbling. That's it. That's it. Good passes. And I'm going to have every player work the middle line. Good passes. Let's go. Come on, tighten it up. Hit the lines. Hit the lines. Let's go. Stay wide, Coriante. Next three. That's it. That's it. That's it. Let's balance out the line over here. Corey, go again. You're going to play a lot. I'm one of them guys when you see a guy or guys continuing to go to the end of the long line. Those are guys that aren't ready to play. I want my best players going every time if they can. Every time. Keep working. Keep working. Let's go. Hit the lines. Some of you guys are taking shortcuts. Hit the lines. That's it. That's it. That's it. Balance it out. Devin, over there. You need to work. Over there. It doesn't matter. Over there. Let's go. The guys that are going to play the most get to the long lines. The guys that aren't going to play, you can sit down over here. Let's go. I almost showed you my game intensity there. And we got the big guy handling the ball in the middle. Does a pretty good job. And he's only going to get better. Good job. Good job. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Ball in the middle. Each guy gets a layup. Each guy gets a layup. Okay, here we go. Down and back. Same drill. I keep cones out to keep them wide. Each guy will get a layup. They'll switch hands. Go back to him. Go back to him. Jump stop. Next three. Next three. I like to do a little passing series. There's all types of drills, but we're working on conditioning. Jump stops. Everyone working that middle line. Catching without. That's it. That's it. Next three. Next three. And we'll have everybody on the um, team, regardless of position, go, go um, two times through work in the middle. Two times through. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Stay sharp. Stay sharp. Get, get it set. Get it set. Good passes. Good passes. Let's go. Let's end on a good one. Snap the ball. Let's go. Don't leak out, Cyrus. Good, good. Good 
This time, take, start over. This time, the guy that shoots the layup, turn and sprint, and we're gonna go two on one back. Wait till he gets back. Let's wait till he gets back, Fred. He's not back. He's not back. Short cuts. Here we go. Same drill. This end. Jump stop. He gets a layup. They take it out like it's game. Games. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out of bounds. That's a violation. Let's go. Hustle up. Hustle up. We've done this before. I make them take it out. That's the only way they're going to learn. It's two on one. Okay, next three. Next three. Let's go, game speed, game speed. Miss layup. Get back, Coriante, get back. Game speed, let's go. That's it, you gotta lay it. Get a mop, get a mop. You cannot throw it back to the guy that threw it to you. All right, so if you throw it down there, you can't throw it here, you throw it there or there. All right? In this drill, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it up and run it, and then I'm gonna tell you what we're trying to accomplish and what the important teaching points are, because that's gonna be the whole thing. Every time I run through one of these drills, it's not the drill, it's what you're trying to teach, okay? So it's not what you do, but how you do it, and that's very, very important. So in Hoosier Square, what we're trying to do is create a little bit of deception with how we deliver the basketball. We want these guys to be clever and to be sharp and to share the ball. All right, here's how this works. When I enter it right here to you, then immediately we're gonna start throwing it around the square, okay? If you get a touch on it, all right, you get a deflection, a steal, just a touch on the ball, then you're out of the defensive square, okay? And you go to the line and you become the defender and the guys at the end that are in a line, you always come on on offense. So we'll just bump right there, like you're gonna be the front of the line, and you'll bump right here, and we'll bump over, and we'll just make it like that. Got it? All right, here we go. Oh, that didn't take long. Here we go, here we go. That's awesome. Who, who turned it over? Okay, who turned it over? Okay, you, 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 you're the one that made that bad pass? That's the first repetition of my clinic, buddy. What's your name? Alex. Alex. They're gonna remember you forever. You're the first turnover. Nike Clinic, Las Vegas. Big round of applause for Alex. Yeah, you guys got a bunch of Alexes on your team, don't you? Me too, here we go. Oh, pass fake, I like it, I like it. Ooh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Good, good, good. If you get a touch, let me know. Okay, stop, stop. All right, couple of things. Teaching points, and we're gonna go really fast here. One of the things that we demand in every single drill that we do is that you call names when you pass, okay? I assume you guys all know each other, right? Okay, all right. So, every time you pass, I want you to call one another's name. Got it, okay? And you guys in defense, I really want you down and talking and communicating, ready? Here we go. Good, good. Good. Oh, boom, boom. He's in. Here we go. Right back to the top. Come on. Right back to the top. Who's where? Talk about it. Who's where? What are we doing? We know what we're doing. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Good. So, do we know each other? Hello. Steal. Okay. Stop. All right. Real quickly, a couple of things and we're moving to the next drill. Number one, you'll have guys on your team that are pretty good vanilla passers. You know, here's my, no, uh, sorry. I was gonna say here's my shooter, but I just decided, no, here's my shooter. Okay, so you have a guy that comes down the floor and here's a pretty good shooter and they can make this pass, but you don't have a lot of guys who come down here and can hit that guy cutting over there. All right, this helps with that a little bit. It helps with that fake a pass to make a pass, which is a teaching point we use so that you get the defense to go where you want them to go so you can throw it where you wanted to throw it all along. Teaches communication. When we run it, we run it for two minutes, and that's it. Two minute running clock, and it's bam, bam, bam. People sprint to the end line, get back in line, and immediately rotate really, really quickly. Did you notice what happened as soon as I made them start talking? 
Anybody notice anything? I said, you guys have to call names. I want you to communicate. And there were like four touches in a row with the defense immediately. If you want kids to communicate when they play, you better make sure they communicate when they practice. It is a distraction at the beginning. They have to learn to think and talk while they play. Passing, and here's what we do. I need another basketball right over there with my friend. Yeah, thank you. All right. Really? Actually, let's start right here. Right here. Okay. We don't have many people in line, but you'll see why I have you there in just a second. Here's how this drill works. We're going to pass the ball to the wing, both of you. Okay. We're going to pass the ball to the post. We're going to feed the post. I'm just going to tell you the rotation, and then I'll talk about the how to. And then the post is going to kick opposite. You're going to kick right here to the top, opposite. You go first. Okay, you go here. Okay, and then we're going to pass to the wings. Okay, whoa, 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 before you do that. And what we do in this drill is we follow our pass. All right, so we're going to walk through this. We're going to pass to the wing. We're going to feed the post. We're going to pass opposite. We're going to pass opposite. Uh huh, he's already done that. Okay, and so I'm in line right here because we've got our four guys right there. Okay, all right, and then you're going to come get in this line. All right, we're gonna go here. He's gonna feed. Got it. Got it. Boom. Boom. Okay. Good. Got it. Okay. Now I want you four guys to. Where, where's my other guy? Where'd he go? Did I put him in line? He disappeared. We don't want to publicize that. Okay. You guys remember who you are and come get in line. You're gonna play too. But just remember when I say I need my guys back, you're my guys. Okay. So come get in line. Get in line wherever. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what we're doing, all right? How many times do you have a post guy that gets right here, and I'm going to assume because you're really big that you're my post guy. You're not a point forward like Kevin Durant, are you? Okay, here we go. So you're posting up. You get the defense up here on the high side. I'm scary, huh? You're, you're afraid of me, Gardner. Okay, but we can't make that pass to that pass to get the ball here. Does that ever happen in your offense? It only happens about 232 times a game with us, I feel like. You gotta be able to make this pass, all right? So this guy is gonna do a little V-cut, pop out, catch the ball. We're working on little bitty things. Like you're gonna call his name, and you just made a nice right-handed flick pass, which I appreciate, that was awesome. You're gonna make sure you pass away from the defense, not on the interior side. Little bitty things matter. You're gonna have a hand target when you come out. You're gonna catch it square in the air, eyes on the rim, okay? And you're gonna post up big and demanding, Elbows, extension of shoulders, sit, sit, spread those feet up, sit, sit, okay, good, just like all the post people in America, good, really good, just like that, uh, uh, yeah, that's good, stay right there, okay, so this guy's going to feed the post, all right, above the shoulders, below the waist, that's our teaching points, why, because 99, are you good, good, stay right there, you're really good, 99% of the defense wants to poke in here, we're not going to throw it in there, we're going to throw it above the shoulders, or below the waist, all right? So we're gonna feed the post and you're gonna catch it and squeeze it in the vise, nice and tight. Friend. Feed the post, oh, look at you. Yeah, he called his name, good, all right? You're gonna catch it nice and tight and you're gonna check and then you're gonna be, you've already passed, yeah? Okay, all right, so you're gonna be hand target, you're calling his name, you're open, you're open, can you shoot it? Not really? <laughs> that sort of defeats the purpose, but I like honesty. That's really good. All right, so you're gonna kick it right here. Okay, you're gonna catch it, eyes to the rim on the catch, really good. And then we're, we've already done this here, so we're V-cutting. Now we're gonna left hand flick, we're gonna pass away from the defense, catch square in the air, eyes to the rim, etc. okay? Now, we all know what we're doing, get a line, we're gonna run our drill, okay? So everybody's playing. All right, even my graduate down there, even my graduate, Brandon, are you my graduate? Come jump in line, you join us. Not here, don't take the big man spot, come get in line, okay. Good. All right, so here's what we're doing, all right? We're trying to go 25 clean catches, 25 clean catches. Any bobble, miscue, anything doesn't count, okay? So 25, and we're going to zip through it, and everybody's going to call names, and we're going to count, and we're going to get to 25, okay? Every post feed is what you count, okay? Everything has to be clean. Every post feed is what we're counting. Getting to 25. Ready? Go. Good. Good. 
Good. Good. Good. Are we V-cutting? Are we standing? Are we V-cutting? Catch eyes to the rim, please. Square. Eyes to the rim. Fake to feed your pose. Pose, guys. Catch with your feet. Catch with your feet. Feet high or low. That's good. Hand targets. Good. What are we two? Where are we? 56. Good. Good. We're close. Good. 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 We're almost there. You guys are talking really well. Thank you. Thank you for that. Eyes to the rim. Good. Where are we? Last one right here. Good. Good. Okay. Hold up. Really good. Would you guys give these guys a round of applause? I, we do these things all the time. And like it takes me 20 minutes to get people to call their teammates' names. These guys were awesome. This guy right here was really good. All right. So what you do is you do that 25 times and you guys are going, that's the easiest thing I've ever seen in my life, right? And, and it's not that tough because there's no defense. You'll be surprised how many times your guys might bobble a little bit. But you go 25 through that. Boom. Okay, a lot of times, and this is really good for young players as well, when you get going really fast, fast in a game, you, you have a tendency to catch the ball and never face the basket in the sea. With this drill, with our perimeter guys, what we're really working on is one, to get open on the wings and on top, to catch the ball strong, to get in a good triple threat position, and to see the floor before they do anything. So what we're going to do, and I'm explaining it, and then we're going to go hard. Nolan, both guys are going to try to get open, and Nolan can hit either player. If he hits Kyle, Kyle's going to catch and face in a triple threat position, and I'll be down here in the paint, and what I'll do is put my hand up with a number, anything one through five. It's Kyle's responsibility to see me, to call out my number, five, catch and face, and as that's going on, these guys are going to interchange on the weak side. Now Andre gets open. Same thing for him. He, t he calls out the number, whatever I do. Now Nolan gets open. While that's going on, these guys interchange. Nolan calls out the number. We'll go a couple times through, and then we'll go to the next group. Let's be sharp and strong with the ball. Catch and face. Two, two, Good. One, one. Go. Okay, let's go. Next group. Next group. Let's go. Can't turn the ball over. Three on all. Good. Good, next group, next group. Let's go, be sharp, let's go. Good. Good, next group, next group. Let's go, next group. Sharp, sharp. Good. Good. Next group. Let's go. Next group. Let's go. Sharp. Good. Next group. Let's go. Next group. Let's go. Good. Work to get open. Good. 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 Next group. Let's go. Last time through. Let's go. Good, next group. Let's go, last group. Let's go. Be sharp. Good. Today it's Jesse and Jamel Lynn. Everybody else on the perimeter. Three round one. Start the dribble loop, balls in the middle. And remember this now, if you get an offensive rebound in the air, you score it. If not, you fan it. On the fan it, it's catch and shoot or catching one more. We're not going to dribble into the traffic. Okay, here we go. Keep your dribble on the dribble out. Quick pass. Good. Good. Right at the top, Momo. That's where your shot's going to be. Up. Oh, oh, oh. 
Good. Get him out. Get him out. Get to that other side.